Hey guys, um, this is my first video I'm ever making for this kind of thing. Uh, just thought it might be kind of fun to start making videos whenever I open up packs of sports cards. Uh, a couple months back I kind of made a random comment. I didn't even honestly remember that. I told my wife I thought it might be fun to start collecting sports cards again. Uh, I hadn't collected any cards since probably elementary school and middle school and really the only cards I had were a bunch of old vintage cards from like the early to late 70s and then a little bit of the 80s from my uncle uh, and then I had a maybe a small handful of cards that my parents would buy me when you know every now and then they'd take me to the card shop and let me pick out a couple of cheap cards that were like a quarter or 50 cents or something so never really got big into it but um, I kind of like I said I, I made a comment to my wife about maybe wanting to get into it again and totally forgot that I made that comment to her and then for Christmas she got me uh, a little bit a little case that I can store cards in and a couple of small packs of baseball cards and hockey cards so uh, it was just kind of fun opening those up and kind of reliving my childhood a little bit so I just decided you know I'm gonna go for it I remembered hey I I did make that comment to you and it does sound fun so we're gonna start doing some card opening videos every now and then and this first one I decided to go with optic football I'm gonna go after a little bit of downtowns um, I spent a lot of time <laughs> over the last two to three weeks kind of researching cards and because there's so many options out there and I was just completely blown away I had no idea there were so many options available nowadays to buy cards not a clue then I started researching okay what are the high value cards what do I want to start collecting do I want football do I want baseball hockey I don't know so I just decided you know what we're gonna go for a little bit of everything so for this first video like I showed you we're gonna open up an optic mega box and then while I was at the shop they had these little packs from a hobby box of NBA hoops so I got one of those and then I got two absolutes um, so uh, the gentleman decided hey here's a couple of free packs since you're getting into the hobby again um, thanks for making a purchase with us good luck on these packs so uh, absolute you can get kabooms very low likelihood of getting kabooms in these small little packs but there's a chance and then the NBA hoops uh, well, obviously we're hunting for Paulo Bancaro rookie so downtowns from the optic football um, kabooms from the absolute and Paulo Bancaro are, are what we're looking for here um, and then also last weekend when I really decided to get back into it there just so happened to be a card show at our local mall and I went and my first two purchases were this Donovan Mitchell the National Convention PSA 10 rookie card thought that was really cool got a good deal on that um, I'm actually probably gonna try to sell this one for a profit because I got such a good deal on it and then I'm a huge Anthony Edwards fan so I got the Anthony Edwards National Pride rookie card um, it doesn't say rookie card on it. It's an insert. It's the year he was a rookie though, but uh, Maybe slightly overpaid for this one, but I just really wanted it and there weren't a lot of Anthony Edwards cards at the show so Pretty cool. I think I'm gonna start kind of doing a little bit of collecting and also buying to flip kind of things um, or if I open packs with cards that are highly valuable that I don't want or Maybe not super highly valuable, but they have some value to someone that I can sell. Uh, we're going to do that too. So for now, let's get into opening some packs and we'll see. Hopefully have some good luck. All right, guys, we're going to start with the NBA hoops pack first. Hopefully we get a Paolo Bancaro rookie card. That'd be awesome. I always see these videos and people are flinging these packs open so fast. I don't know how they do it. I can't open them that fast. Starting off with just a base, Miles Turner, Ben Simmons, Danny Green, Tim Hardaway Jr., and they're all upside down now. Uh, Marcus Moore Sr., Jay Nivey, base rookie, James Wiseman, 
And uh, Marjan Beauchamp, rookie card. Actually, I live uh, kind of on the border of Minnesota and Wisconsin. And the shop that I bought all these packs from is in Wisconsin. So I, I know they told me any, if I get any Bucks or Brewers or Packers cards that I don't want, even if they're base cards, to bring them by and they'll buy them from me. So... I'll probably end up selling that one to them. They probably won't give me much for it, but we'll see what they give there. Nothing huge there, but still fun to check it out. Going to go with the Absolute Football Packs next. we got two of these. Maybe we can get lucky with the Kaboom. Probably not, but hopefully. Hopefully. Darren Waller. C.D. Lamb, Carson Strong, rookie, looks like a silver. We've got a Russell Wilson, Broncos card. Tyquan Thornton, it's got some funny scuffs on it. Don't know who that is even anyways. And uh, entry to be a kid reporter for the Super Bowl, all right. So far, nothing great. So far, just looking at stuff that we'll be maybe trying to sell in bulk on eBay or something because I don't really want to keep a bunch of cards that I don't have any attachment to, but I still have fun opening the pack. So anything that I don't want will probably just go in bulk lots on eBay. All right, we got a Matt Ryan Colts. Austin Eckler, I like Austin Eckler. We got a Trent McDuffie rookie card. Terry McLaurin. Ooh, we got a rookie Isaiah Likely. That looks cool. I like him. He had a good year for part of the year when Mark Andrews is out. Unfortunately, looks like there's some imperfections on that one. So definitely not going to have a ton of value. And it's Isaiah Likely. It's not like one of the young quarterbacks anyways, but. Still cool to get that one. I like him. So, so far nothing spectacular from the basketball or the absolute football. We'll move on to, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 packs of optics. I think Trevor Lawrence is one of the big ones here if we're not getting a downtown. Obviously, downtown is what we want. That's what we're hunting for. Got Trey Quan Smith, Ryan Tannehill, Jared Goff, Anthony Schwartz, rookie. Still nothing great here. See what's next. We got a Chase Edmonds, Derek Carr, Javante Williams, blue. I believe that's Prism, a blue Prism rookie. A little bit off center, left to right. Really good up and down. Pretty good condition though. Other than that, I think it might be one little small tick nick on the bottom, but. That one's cool. I like Javante. Too bad he got hurt. And we got a Brevin Jordan. Javante, that's a kind of cool card, but I don't think it really has much value. I, I don't have a huge knowledge base for what has value, other than I know some of the big cards that have value, but some of these smaller ones, I have no idea. All right, Jermaine Pratt. Delvin Cook. I'm a Vikings fan. like that one. Oh, baby, we got a Kyle Trask gifted rookie. I don't think these gifted rookie ones have too much value, but I know Kyle Trask cards have been going for a lot lately. People are kind of speculating that Tom Brady's going to retire and he's going to take over, or Tom Brady will end up somewhere else. So might try to sell that one quick and take advantage of the market. And then the Sam Ellinger base rated rookie card. 
Still nothing super great, I don't think, but we'll see what we can get for Kyle Trask later. I saw who the last card is. I don't think it's a special one, but I like who it is. Uh, we got a Nick Bosa. Oh, that's cool. We got a Jim Kelly. We got a silver, I think that's a silver Najee Harris rated rookie. A little bit off on the up and down centering, but left and right looks good. Looks like a little nick on there too, but still a cool card. That's a cool card. I like that. We'll put that one in a penny sleeve. And then the last one I saw it was a base Justin Fields. Centering's a little off left and right and slightly up and down too, but again, it's just a base card. So unless he starts taking off and having a crazy career, this isn't going to have a ton of value anyways, but still a cool card. I will hang on to it, put it in a sleeve. Still nothing super spectacular, but still some cool stuff. Tyler Boyd, Kenny Galladay. Oh, we got a Justin Herbert My House. It's not a rookie, so it's not necessarily going to have a ton of value, but still a cool card. Very cool. I like the look of that. The baby blue background matches the jersey. Sweet looking card. Put that one into a sleeve. And then Quinn Meneers. Don't know who that is. Rookie card though. Brandon Ayuk. He's a beast. This year he was really good. Jamison Crowder. Sante Samuel Jr. Blue Prism. Oh, that looks like a nice card. Uh, there's actually maybe a production line straight down the middle, though. Cool card, though. We'll put that into his sleeve. That's another one where I like the player. It's a cool card, but I don't necessarily think it has much value. And then we got a 2 2 Atwell rated rookie. All right, we've got four packs left. We're still hunting for the downtown. Maybe we can get lucky. I gotta figure out what the trick is for opening these packs easier, man. Eric Ebron, he was a bust. I thought he was gonna be good coming out of college. Zach Cunningham, oh, we got a Joe Burrow something. Joe Burrow something. Joe Burrow patch, let's go. Optic Threads, Joe Burrow. That's a nice looking card. Unfortunately, the left, well, no, actually, I think the left and right is pretty good. That is an awesome card. Joe Burrow, Joey B. Hopefully he can win this week. I don't think I have any sleeves that are big enough to hold this thick card. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to just be very careful and get to the card shop for a bigger sleeve later. I don't know how much that's worth, but that is a sweet card. It's not a rookie, so it's not going to be like crazy, I don't think, but still a sweet card. And then we got Carlos Boogie Basham. Going to be honest, don't know about him much at all, but... All right, three left. We're still looking for that downtown. Michael Thomas, great football player, but he's always hurt. Always hurt. Noah Fant, I think he's a little overrated. Who's this? Oh, this is a cool car. Patrick Queen. I don't know. It's like circular pattern. 
I don't know what that's called. Is that like, uh, no, it's not Disco. But, oh, man, that is a cool card. 70 out of 79. Very cool card. Too bad that one's not the Joe Burrow card or uh, Justin Fields or something. I bet that would be worth a pretty penny. Man, that's in good shape, too. And then before we sleeve it, the last card is Elijah Molden. Let's sleeve this one up. And this one's going to go straight into a case as well. A top loader. Very cool card. We'll have to look that one up. That's in great condition. We'll have to look that one up after. Very cool. Too bad that's not a rookie QB. Otherwise, that would be worth way more than Patrick Queen. All right, who we got next? A.J. Brown. I had him on my fantasy football team this year. Great player. DeAndre Swift. Another player who's hurt but is an awesome player. Levi Onwuzurik. I have no idea how to say his name. I know it's wrong. Cool looking card. And Odafe Owe. No clue how to say that name. Onwuzurike? Onwuzike? I don't know. Last card. Come on, Optic. We already got a couple of nice cards here, so I think our odds of any more nice cards, they weren't necessarily the right players, but still some nice cards, so I'm not sure our odds are too good here, but we'll uh, hold our breath and hope it's something good. We got a Kyler Murray, Kenyon Drake, rated rookie Josh Palmer. I think that's the prism pattern again. Unfortunately, that one also looks like it has a little line down it from production. Otherwise, it's a good-looking card. And then we got Elijah Moore. So that's going to do it. That is going to do it. We have no more packs to open. I've got some research to do. Comment below if you know uh, if any of these have more value than I realize or any tips or advice as I'm learning and, and uh, getting back into the hobby. Appreciate you watching. Come back next time. I'm going to do more of these, I hope. My plan is to keep doing some of these, so come back for more.